I'm Steve Ellsworth. I've worked at Sierra Nevada College now for over 20 years. From the very beginning, I taught science and math. And uh, oh, about five or six years ago, I invested in a relatively nice digital camera. And um, I just decided to have it with me all the time. I just started taking photos of, of what I saw. And, and depending on the time of day and what was going on you know, seasonally, there are all different opportunities to start you know, chronicling what I saw. To me, I, I don't plan on making a living doing uh, photography, but for me, it's, uh, it's certainly been a way to help promote the college. And so the photography for me is, uh, is an escape. So the actual taking of photographs is an escape for me. I will go to places that I think there's a very low probability that there'll be anyone else around. I want my photos to represent the, the beauty, the patterns of natural processes. So I often set up, you know, I do what's called HDR photography. So after I set up my, my camera and, and get it going, taking multiple photographs, it's often a few minutes that the camera is working. And I do uh, noise control, internal noise control within the camera. These are the things I've learned. And to me, it keeps me looking around and just experiencing the environment. So the photography, to me, helps me concentrate on what's going on there, but also you know, relaxes me. And I've just had great personal experiences just you know, out taking photos. Obviously, I'm still blown away by Lake Tahoe. I've worked here over 20 years, and I'm still amazed by it. Using science and math, the way I think about it is that we can understand the lake. We can understand why it's lost clarity because of phosphorus, sediment, the introduction of exotic species. But it, I don't think it helps you know something, okay, in, in a more personal way and connect with it. You think it so objectively, there's a, there's a potentially disconnect ultimately from what the system is overall. And I think photography has really helped me get to know the lake rather than just understand it. And I think people respond to visual imagery, especially in this day and age with social media. And also, you know, recognizing that um, I really am connecting with many different students. I teach a lot of math classes and science classes to students who are going off to art or business. Okay, or humanities, and this is one way that you know, I can connect with them in a non-mathematical or you know, scientific way. That, and to me, it you know, ultimately really represents what the college wants to be and what many faculty want to be, which is truly liberal arts, that we, that we embrace you know, different disciplines and honor them and, and pursue them.